Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel, A Day in the Life of Rhea. Thanks for stopping by and tuning in and welcome to today's video. So this portion of my channel is dedicated to me and my van life. Right now I'm trying to get my van up to par. I have to go get it inspected on Wednesday and try to get my registration for a year, my new stickers. Hopefully I pass my inspection. So I'm just trying to do a few things on a van that I think might fail it. So I already ordered a mirror and it arrived recently. So I'm about to try to figure this out. So this is the mirror. These little pieces, it looks like it's tape or something sticky to stick it on, but it's really not that sticky. So I doubt if this is able to hold this mirror on. I'm getting so anxious because I need to get everything done by Wednesday. I have to call them back actually and try to get them to schedule me an appointment for Wednesday. I called them earlier and left a voicemail, but nobody called me back. So I'll call them back again. So this is what it's supposed to connect to. After looking at the other side, I see that there's a black piece that I think it's supposed to sit in. So yeah, I don't think this is going to work. Let me see. Wow, so this is only the mirror piece. And the piece that it's supposed to sit in, like this black part, it's not there. Wow. But luckily I'm at my friend's house. I stopped by here to pick up my mail. Since I'm just getting back in the U.S. I don't have my own address. And I don't think I want it. Hence the reason why I'm doing van life. <laughs> so basically the whole point of me coming back to the U.S. Is so that I can do van life. <laughs> so I'm just trying to get my van up to par to pass inspection on Wednesday. Hopefully. So anyway, she's always doing a lot of arts and crafts. So... She has a whole bunch of glue in there, so I guess I'll go ahead and see what kind of glue she has and maybe I can just stick this on and hopefully get through inspection. Oh, and there's a few more things I'll try to fix that I think is wrong with the van, so let me show you. So, I didn't realize it was that much rust up there until I had to take a picture of it because one of my old classmates from high school actually works in an auto parts store, but I actually plugged the fuse up inside. So, the thing is... When my friend told me that the light wasn't on at the top when I pressed the brake, I checked later and this was unplugged. So once I plugged this up, now this light stays on even with the vehicle off. So I don't know what I'm going to do. This is crazy. Oh, wait. Maybe it only stays on if the vehicle is open because I have my front door kind of open. So, yeah, that's cool. So, another issue is, I have this light. I don't know what it's supposed to light up because, well, it doesn't stay in. And it pops on only at night when I have the front lights on. I might get my friend to check and see if any lights come on in the back once I cut the lights on. And... Another thing that I think might make me fail is this because I can't get my back door open from either side. And this hole, so inside the door, when you pull the latch up, let's see, it doesn't even, let's see, it's not connected to anything. You see, it's just dangling. This part is just dangling and I don't know what it's supposed to connect to. It's another piece underneath of it. Let me put my hand back here. So when I move that piece, you can see it's not connected to anything. So I was going to order the whole new piece, but I don't even know if that will solve the issue. I need to get it done by Wednesday. I'm stressing out. So I guess if it doesn't pass, they'll tell me what I need to fix it. So that part actually was available on Amazon, but unfortunately a few days later, after I added it to my list, it's no longer available. So I don't know. We'll see what happens by Wednesday. I hope to get this van taken care of by Wednesday because if I do, I'm going on a trip. <laughs> 
All right, so I'm about to go in my friend's house and see what kind of glue she got. She said some kind of 600 or 6,000 glue. I don't know. I'm about to find out and see what we come up with. So I just knew my friend Crafty Self was going to be out here helping me, but she's in there fooling with Alexa, so I'm out here trying to figure this out. So I got some Gorilla Glue. <laughs> I'm about to see if it works. I don't know. Hopefully it'll last until I get this inspection Wednesday. It's worth a try. So, put it up like that right there. I don't know how long I'm supposed to hold this on there. I don't know if it's going to stick. But hopefully it can stay on there. I don't know. <sighs> Let me just put some... Maybe this is smarter. This little plastic piece right here, I'm trying to at least balance it on there. I don't know. Maybe I'll just let it sit and dry. If I can leave it alone. I'm trying to position it as best as I can just to pass inspection. I'm afraid it's going to fall out. I might have to sit down and let it dry. I need something to wipe it off so it don't look obvious. Nice little twig. <laughs> Don't judge me. It looks worse if I, it might be better if I just leave it alone. This stuff is getting super gooey. Oh no, I can't get this on my hands. I'm about to be the new Gorilla Girl. Gorilla Glue Girl. I might can clean it off later. What else do I need to do? This sun is hurting my eyes. But anyways, as you can see, I've been struggling with this mirror. I'm scared to pull off because I'm afraid that it's going to fall. So I'm going to give it a little bit more time to try to dry. So I'll come back later and see if it's holding up good. So I was afraid to open the door because it might fall. So I got in on the other side. And I wanted to check if it's at least usable to help me see cars behind me while I'm driving but I might have to readjust it because it's looking at the ground I don't know I'll probably just leave it and let it dry 
So I'm trying to think, was anything else wrong with the van? Oh, my check engine light had came on when I went to Pennsylvania for my little road trip, my first road trip in this van. I was so disappointed, but luckily it was the gas cap. So after I made sure that the gas cap was clicked at least like three times I had read online, it's just some random number they suggest that you make sure that the gas cap is clicked three times. After I did maybe about two or three trips, I realized one day when I got back in the van, the light was off. So that's one less thing that I have to worry about. So hopefully this mirror won't get me caught up. And I think the backlight is good now. The check engine light is off. So the only other thing that I thought might make me fail was that door latch that I was fooling with. Maybe I'll fool with it tomorrow before I go to work. I don't know. I went on an interview today. So, you know, I had a lot of stuff. I've been calling around different places, taking care of stuff, phone calls. So, I'm kind of tired. I think I need to give myself a break. So, I'll just sit here and relax at my friend's house for a little bit. And try to let this dry. And then maybe hit on down the road. <laughs> I think before I go, I'll go ahead and mess with this lock in the back and see if maybe I can get it to work or see if something is missing and maybe try to get a part before Wednesday. If not, I guess, you know, if it fails, then, you know, they can probably give me a price to see if I can get it fixed at their shop. So we'll see. I call myself doing a little inspection. The inside part of the tires look kind of high enough, but on the edge, I don't know, I might fail so rusty I hope I pass this inspection I'm ready to go on a trip I might not even take my van with me even though I could so we'll see what kind of trip I get into hey everybody so I finally made it back home and my mirror is still intact so yeah that's that I'll probably readjust it another time but hopefully it can pass inspection so I'm super tired. I think I'm going to go take a nap maybe later today or tomorrow or sometime Wednesday before I go and get the inspection since I do have my appointment already scheduled. I can try to fool with this back door so we'll see how that goes.